everyone, and welcome. Beloved family, friends, I know you're as excited as I am to be here this evening to celebrate the marriage of Katie, Michelle, and Brill to Brandon, Joseph, Litchfield. Marriage is a very personal undertaking. For the most part, your love for one another was something that grew at a pace and intensity that only the two of you are familiar with. It's one of those sweet, sweet secrets that um, only the two of you will share. And it's uh, one that you can say is exclusively yours. Likewise, your marriage will be personal. Um, counting on the strength of the foundation that we've built together in the years leading up to this day, you'll weather all the stormy seas and all the calm seas of a marriage together and on your own. So, Katie and Brandon, all of us, all of your friends and all of your family here tonight, we're feeling incredibly happy and honored and blessed to be here, that you included us in this ceremony tonight. So thank you um, for inviting us on this very personal day. And I know that you two are also feeling blessed that you come to the marriage altar tonight with the blessing of your family and friends. Who has the honor of presenting this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. Before I really get started, um, can you guys in the back hear me very well at all? No, you can't. <laughs> what are you saying? And it's finally here, the big day. And uh, unlike most couples on their wedding day, will you all be seated, please? <laughs> unlike most couples on their wedding day, you come here having just endured one of the most trying times of your relationship. Being separated from your partner, even for short periods of time, can be um, a very big strain on a relationship. But being separated, as you were, and knowing that any time your partner could come into harm's way in the course of his birth, that's unimaginable for the great lot of us here tonight. So already you've accomplished a very big marital victory. Um, waiting it out and adequately loving each other from afar while Brandon was deployed overseas. We're so glad that you're back, Brandon, and we are proud of you, and we thank you for your service. Um, to both of you, congratulations. You made it after that undoubtedly difficult wait. You're finally here. So get in. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> your happiness is radiant, and both of you love you. Katie and Brian. Katie and Brandon, you know that I've never written a marriage ceremony before, so I have no idea what you were thinking <laughs> asking me to be here tonight, but I'm so glad that you did. And um, not knowing just the right words to launch you into the perfect marriage and to start you off just right, I decided to cheat. I talked to your friends and family, and I know that you know your friends and family, so you know that the responses were many. And uh, they were definitely colorful. I got so many responses, in fact, that if I shared them with you tonight verbatim, uh, we could easily add an hour to the ceremony. So um, I do want you to know, yeah, we're not going to do that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Your friends and family, though, the, the message was universal. Your friends and family love you very much. And we all have faith uh, that the two of you will have much happiness in your future together. I do want to share a little bit uh, with you of what your friends and family said about you. But first, I'm not going to lie. Uh, some of your friends, they're pretty dang violent. <laughs> some of them are standing right here. <laughs> but first of all, Brandon's sister, Jennifer. She wanted Katie to know that since she and Katie are the same height, Jennifer is certain... <laughs> 
said it for a certain that Katie can beat Brandon to a bloody pulp should the need arise. And Katie, Jennifer recommends going for the knee. <laughs> In all seriousness, Jennifer wants you both to know that she loves you very much, and she's very proud of you today. Now, <clears throat> Jamie and Natalie. From here, these bridesmaids seem to be charming and quite lovely. <laughs> they seem harmless, don't they? Now, to be fair, before they started laying the smack down, Jamie and Natalie did actually say some very nice things about Katie. <laughs> Katie, Jamie and Natalie would like you to know that you are one of the strongest people they know. These girls think of you like a sister, and they'll be there for you, Katie, through thick and thin. Brandon, I know these two girls love you. They actually told me that. But I am certain you better watch yourself around these two. Jamie said, and I quote, Brandon, you better treat Katie right or we're going to have some problems. <laughs> and Natalie said, Brandon, you have my permission to marry Katie, but if you hurt her, Jamie and I will be at your door ready to seriously injure you. <laughs> Truth be told, these girls love you both. And uh, Brandon... They wanted you to know that they think of you like a brother. They're proud of you both for making it through some really tough times. And they know you have many, many years of happiness ahead of you. A few of your friends did send messages of a slightly more gentle nature, which was nice. Your good friend Rachel <coughs> wanted you to know that she thinks what you have together is very special and very rare. And she thinks you already have what it takes to make your marriage last. She offered some excellent advice, which included, pick your battles, kiss each other, <laughs> kiss each other a lot, but not be spontaneous, hold each other tight every night before you roll over into your own comfy spot in the bed, laugh a lot, and never ever take anything in your relationship for granted, be each other's best friend. Make your relationship a top priority. Never put it on the back burner. And Katie, Rachel really wants you to know this one, that even though you hate it, she would like you to try to take a little interest in fishing. <laughs> Katie, your Nana wanted you to know that your Grandpa Jerry was just crazy about you. He was so proud of you, and he loved you a ton. She wanted you to know that he's proud of you right now, and he's smiling down on the two of you today. She also wanted you both to really cherish the memories that you're making today. She said that marriage is a commitment, but it's also filled with excitement and a lot of joy. Grandma Vita was so glad to spend time with both of you during the recent hurricane, and she said that it was very special for her to get to see firsthand just how wonderful the two of you are together. She said that she's always had her Katie, but now she feels like she has her Brandon, too. She said the best thing of all was seeing how very happy the two of you are together and knowing that your very best years are yet to come. Now, there are a few smart Alex's in the family, too. As you know, Katie's Uncle Craig had this advice for the happy couple. Brandon, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> And my son Cooper, the bride's cousin, offered this wisdom nugget. Don't get divorced in the first four weeks, or the whole wedding thing will be a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> I heard from the moms, too. And to us moms, you will always be our babies. There will never be a day that we don't think about you, worry about you, and wish the very, very best for you. Katie, Brandon's mom, wanted you to know that she and Chris think the world of you, and they are so proud and honored to have you joining the family. Her advice to you both is to keep each other in your hearts through good and bad times, and to treat each other with respect and kindness, always considering each other, no matter what the situation. Katie's mom and Aunt Cheryl would like you two to know that marriage is a journey, not a destination. Bringing joy and meaning to a fulfilling marriage will take some seriously hard work. And remember, attitude is everything. Thank you, family and friends, for 
for just being here today and in doing so, encouraging Katie and Brandon and offering your blessing upon their marriage. It seemed fitting that I go ahead and add some official thoughts to your marriage ceremony. So a minister who is much smarter and undoubtedly much more credentialed than I am wrote some real words of marital wisdom, and I would like to share these with you now. Our wish for both of you today is that your marriage will bring much happiness and joy to each of you. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created, and it is created in the following ways. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is at no time taking the other for granted. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing life. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to apologize and forgive. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Today, Katie and Brandon have chosen to commemorate their marriage through the celebration of the sand ceremony. Katie and Brandon